What's good, everybody? It is the Super Triple J E T here, and it looks like we got some news about Resident Evil Infinite Darkness. So we got an announcement about the voice actors who are going to be voicing Leon and Claire. Nick Apostolides and Stephanie Panicello are coming back as both Leon and Claire in Resident Evil Infinite Darkness. And I'm kind of concerned about this news. Well, for Leon, Claire did an excellent job. Stephanie did a great job as Claire Redfield in Resident Evil 2 Remake. I actually did like how she portrayed the character of a more aggressive type character. But she was kind-hearted, lovey, sweetie, and even a flirt type in Resident Evil 2 Remake. So I think that was a good way to portray Claire. And I'm actually excited for her to come back as Claire and see what else she would do. But for Nick, uh, I don't know how I feel about him coming back because... He did a great job in Resident Evil 2 Remake. I think he did excellent for the role he got. And the way they portrayed Leon as an inexperienced cop did really work. And it's more realistic compared to how they portrayed him in the original. And how they portrayed him in Dark Side Chronicles. So he did a great job for the character. But this movie is set in the year 2006. And that means it's after Resident Evil 4. So it's going to be kind of weird hearing this Leon on this model it's one thing to keep the truth from me but why him because when i see this model i hear matthew mercer's leon because that's let's say it's based on resident evil 6's and vendetta and damnation leon it looks like it's based off that model so i hear matthew mercer not nick so it's kind of weird gonna it's gonna be kind of weird hearing nick's voice on this leon but on the other hand i gotta say that Nick does not actually sound like young Leon, you know, he doesn't really sound that way. He sounds a little bit deeper, like hear this sound clip. Yo, what's up Mel? This is Nick Apostolidis, of course, the voice and mocap actor for Leon Kennedy and the Resident Evil 2 remake. Yes, so he doesn't really sound that way, so I'm only 50% concerned because I don't want to hear a high-pitched Leon you know, after Resident Evil 6, it just doesn't work. It only will make sense if it takes place before the Operation Javier and from Dark Side Chronicles. It's the only logical thing that makes sense. Other than that, it's just going to be kind of weird hearing that. But to be honest, like I said, I'm only 50-50 on this. I do not know how I feel about this. So tell me in the comments down below, how do y'all feel about the voice cast coming back from RE2 in this movie? I really like to know. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'm out. Deuces.